What's up, y'all? I'm about to get ready to cook. I am doing salmon. I got two pink salmon. Wild caught. I have two of these. So I am about to get ready and uh, clean this, get my potatoes peeled so I can get them on and season and clean my shrimp. And y'all stay tuned. <laughs> So I have all my fish here. I'm about to go ahead and season it. No, I'm not taking the skin off the other side because I don't feel like all that. These are all the seasonings I'm using. We got onion powder, Obey accent, some salt-free magic seasoning, uh, paprika, Cajun seasoning, onion and herb, and lemon pepper. So let's get into it. Just put my olive oil in the pan. I am using Bertoli olive oil. I will be adding water in with this and I'm gonna show you why. And then we have been seasoned. Now we're about to go in the pan. So let's walk right on over here. All right, so I got my olive oil going. Water, I will be adding the water in there periodically, and that just helps keep it moist. So what I did was cut it down because we already put the feet. We don't want to put it in It's about 50 minutes. We need water simmer down. We're going to slip them. Then we try not to add no more water. Take them out and throw the rest in there. And then, of course, we have the shrimp. So, I want to use the same seasoning that I use for the fish on the shrimp. So, let's get into it. So I'm gonna take the spoon and mix all of my shrimp around. I'm also gonna pour in some olive oil so the seasoning will stick. So I'm only going to pour in uh, my cap full of olive oil. This cap is very small. Alrighty. Alrighty, so we have the shrimp seasoned. Last ingredient is ranch. Yes, I am adding ranch to this. If you guys are making your seafood boils, and your butter sauce, when you add all your seasoning to your butter sauce, add ranch, and it will make a difference. All right. I honestly don't like to squeeze the lemon over my fish. I don't really care for it. Um, so, you got to see no lemon, that's why. Because the seasoning speaks for itself. Mix this around and get ready to put these in a pot of butter. And here is the broccoli. I have two bags of these uh, broccoli florets, and we're gonna throw it in. Okay, so the water has simmered all the way down. So now I'm about to go ahead and turn these over. Yes, Water should work. Okay. And I'm going to take these out soon. 
a little bit of water with that olive oil get you right in the time and we have our potatoes almost ready to be turned into mashed potatoes garlic butter mashed potatoes and our broccoli is in the back and our shrimp is going to go on last the first batch of fish that got pulled out oh yeah i'm ready to eat potatoes ready to be mashed and we are putting the sour cream in putting it into my mashed potatoes so i can be ready to add salt black pepper and garlic powder so these are my potatoes i added some parsley see the butter garlic salt not garlic salt but garlic powder and himalayan salt and some sour cream, and we are mashed, honey. Yes, yes. And this is how it turned out. I have my shrimp, homemade mashed potatoes, broccoli, and my fish. Can't wait to eat.